let's take a look and see if anxiety can bring you closer to Jesus. Let's get our Bibles and let's get started. All right, guys, thank you for joining me back here on this video. And for the people that have been subscribed to this channel, you know we talk about Christ, we talk about life, and we uncover biblical practices so that you and I can explore our unknown years. And today we've got a really good one here today. We are just going to look firstly at the life of Paul and we're going to see a weakness that he has that he wants to really get rid of, just like you and I have anxiety in our lives today let's dive in guys let's take a closer look at what paul is saying in second corinthians chapter 12 verses 7 to 9 and let's just see what he is talking about here he says so to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations a thorn was given me in the flesh a messenger of satan to harass me to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So we see here guys that Paul has some sort of weakness in his life and he's just trying to get rid of it. I mean, that's just like you and I, we're trying to, we have anxiety and we go out there and it cripples us, you know, it weakens us, you know, it makes us feel low. It makes us feel like sad and depressed and that like we can't just like talk like everyone else and go out there and shine and be powerful, you know, talk with power. And we see here, like, just like many of us, Paul pleaded to the Lord, you know, Lord, take away this, take away this weakness, take away this weakness. And, you know, he still had this weakness inside of him. And I know that a lot of you are going through the same thing. A key thing that he says here in the verse is that a thorn was given to him in the flesh. And that's the exact same thing with anxiety. You know, God has given you this thorn in the flesh, but why? You know, why has he given you that thorn in the flesh? And for Paul, his reason was God didn't want him to be conceited. But the thing is for us, you know, it's holding us back from a whole range of bad attitudes that could really hurt us. You know, if we think that we are the boss all the time, we are the most powerful, we can do everything for our own strength, then we do not look to the Lord for different things. So what does the Lord say? He says in verse nine that his power is made perfect in weakness. So could you just imagine that, that God gives us these thorns so that his power can be made perfect in the spirit and he could use you when you truly let go of your own strength and you let go and you let God just guide your life. So this actually helps you. So now instead of just relying on your own strength, you're able to partner up with God because now God sees an avenue in which he can strengthen you and give you the strength and give you the ability to go out there and speak his word. So this gives God a great opportunity to show his power in our weakness. So let's take a look right now at how God can strengthen us. And let's go to Hebrews chapter four, verse 12. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So here guys, we're seeing the power of the Holy Spirit. We're seeing the power of the Word of God. We're seeing that it can do all the discerning for you. It can give you all the strength, all the power that we need. You do not need to just rely completely and utterly on your own strength. And sometimes anxiety can help you to see that because you know your weaknesses. You know that you're weak in certain areas. So you know the areas to pray to God and ask God, give me strength in this moment. You talk for me, you speak for me. And even if I slip up, even if I do things wrong, we know that your work will get done because you are powerful and you are great and you can work in our weakness. 
So this is why guys, I'm going to give you four verses to meditate on daily, you know, day and light. Add this to your daily and nightly meditation time where you spend that time with God and you pray and you see what the Lord is saying to you. So here we go. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. So we see here, even through our anxieties, when we see God's strength in our lives, despite that weakness, it causes us to sing songs. It causes us to praise God and it causes us to jump out every day, knowing that even if I get into a rough patch in a conversation or somewhere and I start to feel anxious, we know that God has our backs and it just causes us to be happy. And that can actually get rid of the anxiety in that moment. Next, we go to 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might shall a man prevail. So we're seeing here that it's not by might that you will prevail. It's not just fighting through this, fighting through this, fighting through this. We have to remember guys, this is a spiritual battle, a spiritual battle that God has won and God can never lose this battle. So you know, you are safe in the hands of the Lord and we can walk in his feet and just know that our enemies will be crushed and anyone that we might fear out there might do something to harm us or might embarrass us or might shame us. And God is so powerful and he can destroy all our enemies in the spirit and all darkness that comes towards us. All of the fear, all of the anxiety, he has it in his hands and he's looking out for you in your life. So let's go to the next one that we're going to, and that's in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 33. This God is my strong refuge and has made my way blameless. So we're looking up here and we're seeing that if we seek our refuge in God, not of worldly things, not running to worldly things when we have a bad day, we seek God and we stand very close to God, knowing that He is the strength, He has the power, we need to stand by him at all times because he is there to rescue us with his strength and his power. So the last verse that we can meditate on is Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise, the spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. So we see here that even when we're praying for different things, you know, your anxiety might make you slip up. It might make you stumble in those words. It might make the thoughts in your mind completely disappear even. But what it's saying here is that the spirit can even talk through you. It can use you to speak. It can use you to even pray for that speech and pray for the things that you want to see done in God's work. We do not need to have everything completely packaged and ready to go. We just need to have the will and the faith to go out there and carry out God's work, no matter what weaknesses we may have in our lives. So let's go back to the first verse that we looked at. Let's go back to our brother Paul and let's see what he does with his weakness. So we can see in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, now we're going to verse 9 and 10. Let's see what it says. Paul says, Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am am strong so guys i hope that this is a big big encouragement for you because when you're feeling at your weakest moment when you're feeling so much anxiety that you just feel like leaving the room or you just feel so helpless in god's kingdom just know that when you are at your weakest that is actually when you are at your strongest in the spirit because now god is there and god is by your side and god is giving you all the strength that you need. 
all right you made it to the end guys thanks for watching the video and i hope that this video really really encouraged you in your anxiety and i just can't wait to talk about this in the live stream on wednesday because this is something that i've been trying to tackle for a very 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 long time now and you guys know because you've seen it on the channel you've seen how much videos i've made on anxiety and this really could be it guys so join me on the live stream on wednesday so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be aware of when i'm going live or when i'm making videos in the future so guys thank you for watching and let's continue to explore our unknown years